Good morning to my students from Grade 12 ABM Virgen del Carmen, Grade 12 Humes Virgen del Pilar, and Grade 12 STEM Virgen del Rosario. I am hoping that you are still doing good, especially in accomplishing your module for this week. And of course, I am hoping as well that you still have the energy para mapanood, maintindihan, and to discover a lot of new things today. So welcome to the subject, Contemporary Philippine Arts from the Regions. So this is week one, and basically, it's all about the introduction of the subject. Pero not just about the introduction, I'll be giving you as well an overview Kung ano-ano ba yung mga bagay na malalaman, gagawin, at dapat i-accomplish sa buong semester. So basically, the semester is good for 4 months from September up to December. Hindi ko na sinama yung August kasi we only have 1 week lang naman for August. Okay? And in your learning module, you are now under the part of hashtag let us watch and listen. Basically, you're just going to watch uh, the slides in this PowerPoint and listen to the discussion that I am doing right now. So let us start. Before we proceed to the main content of this discussion, allow me to present first the learning competency. So when we say competency, this is something that you have to master at the end of this module. For learning competency number one is you are going to describe the various contemporary art forms and their practices from the various regions. Contemporary art forms, practices, various regions, napakalabo at this point. But later on, tutulungan ko kayong maliwanagan tungkol saan ang mga i-describe nyo na yan. Pero of course, paano nyo i-describe yung mga bagay na yan? Kung may learning competency, meron tayong tinatawag na learning objective. At ang learning objective ang dapat nating gawin, ang dapat nating i-accomplish at the end of this at the end of this module para masabi nating na master or na meet natin yung competency number 1. So, our learning objective for today is at the end of this lesson you will be able to explain the different contemporary art forms and practices from the various regions of the Philippines. And how are you going to do that? You have to use authentic and reliable information. Para saan ang authentic and reliable information na yon? Because you're going to write a reflection paper. So expect that the last part of the module has something to do with writing a reflection paper. So that means you have to listen very well in this discussion. So now, if you're going to ask me, what are the things that you will learn for this session? I prepared three things for you to learn. Number one, we have the definition of arts and contemporary arts. That's the first learning topic that I have to explain. Number two, we'll be having the comparison between contemporary arts and traditional arts. And later, you will find out as well, bakit kailangan i-compare ang dalawang ito? And finally, number three, I'll be giving you as well an overview about the different contemporary art forms and the different regions of the Philippines. Mula apari hanggang holo, sabi nga sa isang uh, kilalang kanta, lilibuti natin yan in the entire semester para malaman ano ba ang mga contemporary arts na nag -e exist sa mga lugar na yan. Okay? So let us now proceed with our discussion. When you were in elementary or even when you were in junior high school, Every first day of your MAPE classes under arts, ang unang ginagawa ni teacher ay define yung salitang sining. Ano ba ang kahulugan ng arts? Ano ba ang ginagampanan nito sa ating buhay? Basically, that's Arts 101. But this time around, since you are now a grade 12 student, 
I'm expecting na alam na ang ibig sabihin talaga ng salitang sining. Kaya, allow me to have only a throwback definition of it. So, what is art? It states that art is the expression or application of human creative skill and imagination, producing works to be appreciated primarily for the beauty or emotional power. Art is influential class, okay? But hindi siya magiging influential kung mananatili lang yan sa ating imagination. All of us have creative imagination. Mapaglaro ang ating kaisipan. Pero para masabi natin ang imahinasyon natin ay bahagi na ng sining, we have to produce it as a product or as a performance. So basically, as long as iniisip mo lang yan, hindi pa yan sining. Magiging sining lang yan if you're going to make it as a product or a performance. Para saan? To express yourself, to influence other people, and many reasons kung bakit natin produce ang creative imagination natin. So a while ago, I said that we have to convert our creative imagination into a product or into a performance. Why? Because art is a form of creative activity. And what are these activities? It could be a painting, a music, literature, or a dance. Class, kapag sinabi nating arts, hindi lang yan painting, hindi lang yan drawing. Napakalawak ng mundo ng sining. Ang sining ay tumutukoy hindi lamang sa pagpipinta. Masasabi nating sining ang isang kanta, lalong-lalo na kapag galing ito sa malikhaing imahinasyon. Pwede rin nating sabihin na ang sining ay tumutukoy sa panitikan, literature, the way we write poems, the way we write stories. It is a product of creative activity. It is a product of art. And even the movements that we have, our body movements, once we produce it, or once we convert it into a dance presentation, then it is a product of art. So starting today, don't think that this subject is just about drawing, that this subject is just about painting. No. We are going to learn different fields, different forms of art. So basically, that's the definition of arts. Now, look at the next slide. As you can see, sa left side, mayroong larawan, at sa right side ay makikita ang salitang future. What does it mean? Isa lang ang ibig sabihin niyan, class. Simula pa man noong una, hanggang sa kasalukuyan, at hanggang sa hinaharap, patuloy na lalago, uunlad, ang larangan ng sining. But look at the words sa itaas. Prehistoric to modern. I know these words are already familiar to you because these are the arts that you learned when you were in junior high school. Prehistoric and civilizations, iyan ang mga sining na ginamit at ginawa ng mga unang tao. When you were in grade 8, you learned Asian art and that's an example of continental arts. Pagdating naman ninyo ng grade 9, you encountered the terms medieval, renaissance, and baroque art. And of course, come grade 10, you learned so much about neoclassic, romantic, and the last is modern art. Kaya naman, ang akala natin, modern art is the arts that we have right now. Mamaya itatakin natin ano ba ang difference between modern art and the arts that we have right now, okay? But now, look at the diagram on the next slide. Makikita natin kung paano umunlad ang larangan ng sining at sa anong aspeto ito umunlad. Example, from Greek period, ang na-develop ay ang pamamaraan or the techniques in the world of art. Pero pagdating ng Roman period, ang na-develop in the aspect of arts ay ang skills. Come Christian period, 
What we have developed in this field is the craftsmanship. Pero pagdating ng Renaissance period, it's evident that the aspect of being a genius and mostly ang focus ay ang design ay ang talagang na-develop sa Renaissance period. Pagdating ng modern art, dyan papasok yung fine arts, the technicalities, mabusisi, and of course, detalyadong sining. And in Romantic period, it's all about self-expression. Now that we are in the present, dyan papasok ang contemporary era, ang kasalukuyang panahon na nagbibigay sa atin ng bagong forms or ng bagong mukha ng sining. That's why at this point in time, let's define the word contemporary arts. So what is the meaning of contemporary arts? Contemporary art class is defined as the art that springs out of the present day events and passions of the society. Kaya madalas na pagpapalit ang modern art sa contemporary art. Ang akala ng karamihan, ang mga arts na ginawa sa kasalukuyan ay tinatawag na modern. But again, when we say modern art, these are the artworks that were produced in the 1860s hanggang 1960s or 1970s. Pero after that, ang sumunod na stage ay ang tinatawag nating contemporary art. Pero hindi lang yan class. Because contemporary arts is considered as the newest form of art. Amusing people from the late 1960s or early around 1970s up to this very minute. Because, basically, just like what I said, it passions of the society. Kung sa modern art, more of self-expression, more of the strategies and the designs, here in the contemporary arts, ang purpose, malalaman natin yan as we go on with our discussion. So now that we know the definition of contemporary arts at kung kailan ito nagsimula, again, it started from the late 1960s or early around 1970s hanggang sa kasalukuyan, let's have the characteristic naman ng sining na ito. Ano ba ang dahilan bakit masasabi natin that contemporary arts is special? Why is it unique? I'd like you to know that this art functions in a global society that is culturally diverse and technology-oriented. Ibig sabihin, ang contemporary arts ay hindi tungkol sa craftsmanship. Hindi ito tungkol sa techniques. Hindi rin ito tungkol sa technicalities katulad ng modern period wherein fine arts were developed. It is also not about the genius and the design aspect na meron ang Renaissance period naman. At hindi ito katulad ng Romantic period na it's all about self-expression. But again, when we say contemporary arts, it is technology-oriented and it is culturally diverse. Ibig sabihin, sa kasalukuyang panahon, sinasakop nito ang lipunang ginagalawan natin. Also, contemporary arts has become a collaborative process and the audience plays an active role in reacting and constructing meaning about the work of art. What does it mean? Hindi ito katulad ng mga naunang uri ng sining na kung saan umiikot lamang ang mensahe sa artist. But when we say collaborative process, you as the audience of that particular masterpiece ay may mahalagang ginagampanan in understanding the message of it. Kaya naman the question is, why do we need to study contemporary arts? Grade 12 students, I'd like you to know that contemporary art is essential or important hindi dahil ito ay nasa panahon ninyo. But instead, mahalaga na matutunan ang kontemporaryong sining because it serves as a form of expression of the people's present feelings and longings, especially the issues in the society that we are facing today. 
nagiging channel, nagiging avenue ng mga artists ang kasalukuyang panahon upang magbigay ng mensahe sa mga taong nakakakita ng kanilang mga masterpieces o ng kanilang produkto. That's why indeed, contemporary arts are very important. In addition, contemporary works of art are the means through which the artists of today communicate their sentiments. Mas nagiging malinaw, mas nagiging malalim ang ating pagkakaunawa sa isang bagay dahil sa mga produkto ng sining na ito. Kaya nga ang sabi ko kanina, kapag sinabi natin contemporary arts, hindi ito tungkol sa design, hindi ito tungkol sa technique or skills na ginamit ng artist, but the message na gustong iparating sa atin upang mas maging malawak ang ating pangunawa, lalong-lalong na sa mga bagay na nangyayari sa ating lipunan. Now look at the picture on the screen. Makikita natin ang dalawang produkto ng sining sa magkaibang panahon. Ang nasa kaliwa ay produkto ng modern art at ang nasa kanan naman ay ang produkto ng contemporary art. As you observe, halos magkamukha lamang. Kasi halos pareho ng disenyo, halos pareho ng techniques. Pero ano ang pinagkaiba nilang dalawa? Ang pinagkaiba nila ay ang mensahe na ipinaparating sa atin. Again, modern art has something to do with the techniques and styles. It focuses on the strategies na ginamit ng artist. But when it comes to contemporary art, Regardless of the techniques, regardless of the design, ang mahalaga ay kung ano ang mensahe na may kinalaman sa ating lipunan o sa ating society na ginagalawan ang dapat nakafocus ang ating attention. So after learning the definition of contemporary art, especially its difference sa modern art, Let's localize our learning by discussing contemporary arts in the country or here in the Philippines. I know na you are aware with the kind of arts we have in the country. Napakakulay, napakayaman, napakasigla, and of course, natatangi sa daigdig. Kaya naman, bago natin tuluyang talakayin ang contemporary art sa ating bansa, ay magbalik muna tayo sa bahagi ng ating kasaysayan kung bakit kakaiba ang sining sa bansang Pilipinas. Look at the screen right now. Okay? I have here a diagram that shows paano ba na-develop ang sining na meron tayo sa kasalukuyan. Sa ethnic art, ito ay tumutukoy sa mga sining ng sinaunang Pilipino, I'd like you to know that these are integral to our present situation because it reflects the importance of life. On the other hand, sa Islamic art naman, ipinakilala sa ating bansa ang mga tinatawag nating geometric designs na kung saan from informal ethnic art, nagkakaroon na ng patterns and shapes ang mga produkto ng sining. Pagdating naman ng Spanish era, most of our arts reflects the faith and catechism since we all know the fact naman din that we were colonized by the Spaniards for 333 years and basically, one of the main reasons why we were colonized is to spread Christianity. And of course, pagdating ng American era, the occupation of the American here in the country, ipinakilala ang secular forms of arts. Most probably, from Spanish era to American era, westernized ang uri ng sining. Kaya naman, pagdating ng pananakop ng mga hapon, ay nakita natin ang malaking pagbabago sa uri at klase ng sining na meron tayo. This is the phase where na-orientalize ang ating sining. Ibig sabihin, hindi na westernized kung sa ang rehiyon sa mundo tayo na sa sakop ay nagkaroon ng inclusion ang ating bansa to that particular era. And of course, right after we gain independence, right after we achieve freedom from the colonizers, papasok ang tinatawag nating modern era. 
It has something to do with our national identity. And sa kasalukuyan, since meron na tayong kalayaan, malaya na tayong nakakapagpahayag ng ating mga ekspresyon, this is now the contemporary era in the Philippines. Social realism. Pinapakita sa ating mga sining ang tunay na kalagayan ng ating bansa, ang tunay na sitwasyon, and basically, malayang pamamahayag in a particular issue. Gayun pa man, grade 12 students, even though we are now enjoying the contemporary era, especially in the field of arts, ay hindi pa rin nawawala sa maraming Filipino artists ang pagmamahal sa ating bayan, especially sa ating pinagmulan. Na kahit tayo ay nasa contemporary era na, ay patuloy pa rin silang gumagawa ng mga produkto ng sining na kanilang nakagisnan na at nakalakihan. At ito yung tinatawag nating traditional arts. Ano ba ang pagkakaiba ng traditional sa contemporary arts? Ito yung characteristics ng traditional arts in the Philippines. When we say traditional arts, these are art representations. And mostly, they are culture-bounded. Aside from they are culture-bounded, sumasalamin ang pinanggalingan ng ating lahi ng mga ninunong Pilipino, they mostly focus on realistic figures. Ibig sabihin, kung ano ang nakikita sa paligid, ganun-ganon ang produce Sapagkat alam naman natin, and the uh, time of our forefathers on yung ating mga ninuno ay wala pang kamera. Napakasimple at payak ng pamumuhay. And of course, traditional arts are limited to structures. At ang traditional arts ang isa sa mga naging balakid kung bakit may mga ilang Filipino artists ang naging mahirap ang adjustment when it comes to creating a contemporary artwork. Why? Because contemporary artwork revolve around the artist on his or her feelings. And of course, not just on his or her feelings, but to focus the message to his or her audience. And when we say contemporary arts here in the Philippines, it is diverse when it comes to the materials, media, style, and it is not bounded by any rule or standard. And that is the challenge for us, especially to our artists here in the Philippines. Kaya naman, to give you an overview about the contemporary arts in the different regions of the Philippines, from the northernmost island in the country, which is Wyami Island, to southernmost island of the country, which is Sitangkay in Tawi-Tawi, kabilang na rin ang easternmost and westernmost part of the country, the Caraga Davao Oriental and Balabak Palawan, allow me to welcome you in the contemporary arts and the different regions of the Philippines. That's why in the next lesson, expect that we're going to have a tour around the country upang alamin at tuklasin ang iba't ibang produkto ng sining sa kasalukuyang panahon o yung tinatawag nating contemporary era. Mula sa pagpipinta, mula sa arkitektura, sa sining ng fashion, pati na rin ng disenyo, ng dula at sayaw, eskultura, literatura at panitikan, lahat ng yan ay ating tatalakayin as we go on with our journey in this subject.